Hey everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to achieve this Broncos inspired makeup look. I'm so excited it's this time of year again. I think football season should be included as an official season, don't you? Spring, summer, fall, football, and then winter. Are you ready to get game day gorgeous? Then let's get started. Omaha! Alrighty, let's get started. I've already applied my foundation and my brows and a touch of light contouring, so I'm going to link those videos in the down bar below, but now I'm going to prep my lids for shadow with a touch of Lorox Behind the Scenes Eye Primer and Max Paint Pot in Painterly. Then with my very new and very exciting Smashbox Photo Op Mega Palette. I'm going to take a shader brush and I'm going into this light color, none of these have names, and I'm just going to set it and make a nice neutral base. Then I'm going to take this teensy weensy shadow brush and dip it into that light blue color and place this just on my lids. get maximum pigmentation, I'm going in with double coverage. To avoid a personal foul on your shadow, always use a transition shade. I'm using Sephora's Pro Tapered Crease Brush in this light brown color and blending it into my crease. These soft brown colors are very popular for transition shades because it helps blend everything out. What you want to do is place this into your crease and it will help all your other colors blend out beautifully. Then I'm going to pick up some of Max eyeshadow in the color Contrast and I'm going to put this just into my outer V. I like to start doing this by working this into a horizontal line first and then connecting it to the outer corner. The key to making this look nice and soft instead of pretty harsh is to blend. You want to blend in circular motions as well as windshield wiper motions until it appears nice and soft right around the edges. finger into a little bit of max eyeshadow in the color idolize and pop this right into the center of my lid this way when I blink it'll give just a little bit of a glittery pop then I'm going to dip a pencil brush into this white color and I'm going to highlight my brow bones as well as place this on the inner corners of my eye to smoke it out a bit. I'm going to use that same pencil brush, but now I'm going to dip it into the same light blue color we used before, and I'm going to place this along my lower lash line. Clearly, this brush would be my number one draft pick. You guessed right, we have to blend this out too. Next, I'm moving on to liner. I'm going to use Max Fluid Line in Black Track with Sephora's Angled Eyeliner Brush. 
I'm focusing this mainly on the outer two thirds of my eye, winging it out and making it just a touch thicker on the outer corner. Then with whatever product I have left over on the brush, I'm going to focus this on the outer half of my lower lash line. Then I'm going to apply one coat of mascara and blitz my way through false lashes. Think of tight lining like the line of scrimmage. It's not imaginary, but it's definitely important. Then I'm going in with the darkest of the three colors in the palette and I'm going to use my Bare Essentials Flawless Face Brush and blend this onto my cheeks. Avoid having the flag thrown on your blush game, always blend it out. Then I'm going to give my face a nice glow using the Balm's Mary Luminizer and Sigma's Tapered Highlighting Brush. Onto my favorite part, lips. I'm going to use Lorox Pro Matte Lip Color in the color Rose Brown. This is kind of like a chubby lip liner, so it's really great for staying power. Then I'm going to add a touch of glossiness with Inglot Sleeks Cream Lip Paint in color 106. This is gorgeous and it smells so amazing. After this, you're done and ready to cheer on the Broncos. Thank you so much for watching this video, and if you liked what you saw, then you should click on that subscribe button for updates of when I post all my future videos. I just recently hit 700 subscribers and I'm so excited about it. Thank you so, so, so much for subscribing to my channel and for supporting my dream. I love you all, my darlings, and I'll see you in my next video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to subtly switch up your office makeup. For me personally, work makeup isn't formal makeup, but it isn't supernatural either. Omaha. Omaha. <laughs> how does he say it? Mm, I don't know. <laughs>